The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Galatasaray facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the striker today is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe. And he's taken it away. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Oh, the threat is there. Surely, and even Ter Stegen might wonder how on earth he got there. And well, they're going for the short one. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, Barcelona restart the game. Will that goal have the effect of stinging them into action? Well, there to intercept. This could square the game. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? So back underway following the equaliser. Frankie de Jong. Pedri. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And a poor ball. Jordi Alba. Dangerous looking attack. It should be. Oh, magnificent reaction. What a pass that lacks quality. Obama Yang. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Fitting Bigomis. And the emphasis is on creativity. But they dealt with the threat posed. 
Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He's in behind. Oh, and it goes! To propel them into the lead. Just what they wanted. So there we have it. 2-1. Torres Jordi Alba Disappointing for Barcelona to give it away like that Promising move from Barcelona An attack full of promise Can they square the game? Frantic action from one end to the other They weren't ahead for long And this match is level again Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Now can they make something happen? Offside by a fraction. Failed to keep hold of it. Unable to keep the ball that time. Torres. And now with Aubameyang. Ferran Torres. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. get at the opposition just unable to take advantage of that developing situation I must say this looks promising Sergio Busquets has a go terrific block Pafetim Bigomis. Really getting stuck in. Chance to play it in. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Obama Yang, well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. So the corner played into the box. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Now can they counter clinically? Possession given away, unfortunately. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Buffett in Bigomis. Gomis. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Obama Yang. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Tim Bigomis. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Dembele. Obama Young. 
textbook defending inside the box. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Ferran Torres. And a throw-in it's going to be. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. Determined defending. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, normally one who dazzles, Usman Dembele, but less so today, Stuart. Well, the service to him hasn't been good, but he hasn't exactly been busting the gut to find space, has he? He needs to work much harder to affect the game and start testing this goalkeeper. Gomez must take the lead here oh a goal to give them the lead and look at the celebrations well he wasn't going to waste this chance 1v1 against the keeper and he slots it away with great confidence that's a good finish with the game then 3-2 what will happen next Sergio Busquets moving it forward they could pick out a teammate not a good pass good looking move this Obama Yang couldn't grab hold of it. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. De Jong. Not a particularly strong challenge. A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Who can he pick out? And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And over it comes. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And taken away. He won the ball. Obama Yang! Oh, a superb save. And well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Let's see about the delivery. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. And he could really get at the opposition. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Can someone get on the end of this? Not really the ideal clearance. And breaking at pace with Menace. De Jong. And he did well to cut it out. Obama Yang. Tempele. And space to cross it. This could level it. Still a chance. Well, it could have been, but for the offside flag.
attack looks promising. And the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Frankie de Jong. Pedri. Dembele. Jordi Alba. And here's Memphis. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, he's missed it. Well, he'll be very disappointed with that. He should be scoring from there. And as you can see from the stats, they've absolutely dominated the game. They've been good in possession, they've created chances, but they just haven't been clinical enough in front of goal. And that's the big problem. If they want to get back into the game, they've got to start taking some chances. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Dembele. Ronald Araujo. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. And a chance to whip it in here. On a crucial intervention inside the box. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Ten minutes left for play. No let up in the pressing department. Jordi Alba. And the referee has given the advantage to Barca. And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Won it back. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Jordi Alba. Time against Barcelona, but you can't count them out. And he's in. And not cleared away properly. And in it goes. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. Well, here it is again. And I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. And at this level, you're always going to be punished. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Jordi Alba. The delivery from Dembele. It comes to nothing in the end. And they've won the ball back following that challenge. And there! Full time, they are the Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation 
of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go, the Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe. Surely! And even Ter Stegen might wonder how on earth he got there. Well, they're going for the short one. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? This could square the game. What next in the drama? Obama Yang. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. He's in behind. Oh, and it goes to propel them into the lead. Just what they wanted. Promising move from Barcelona. Can they square the game? Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level. That is not going to do well wide of the target. chance but the goalkeeper comes through yes Derek we have to give credit to the keeper but Obama Yang now the keeper performing brilliantly well that's just incredible he reacted so quickly there well he didn't miss by an awful lot De Jong, not a particularly strong challenge. A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Who can he pick out? And doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. Well, taken away, he won the ball. Obama Yang! Oh, a superb save! Well, he could really get at the opposition. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Not out of the woods yet! Oh, he's missed it! Well, he'd be very disappointed with that. He should be scoring from there.
And he's in. And not cleared away properly. And in it goes. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. 